What's good, everybody? You know who it is. So one thing that I don't understand is to-do lists. Because if you really wanted something bad enough, why do you need a piece of paper or why do you need a reminder on your phone to tell you what you need to do if you wanted it that bad enough? If you're hungry and you feel hungry, you automatically go get food. You don't need a reminder on your phone telling you, hey, go eat. You just go eat because you know that's what you want to do because you're hungry. It's the same thing about your goals. If you have a goal in your mind that you want to achieve and you want it so bad, bro, you want it bad enough, you don't need a to-do list. You don't need anything on your phone telling you what you need to do. I know that I wanted to become financially independent and I know that I still got a long way to go. So every single day I text, I take steps into getting to closer to that goal. I don't need to-do lists. I don't need a reminder or anything on my phone. I don't need a whiteboard telling me every single day when I wake up what to do because it's always in the front of my brain, always, because that's exactly what I want. That is exactly what I want to do. Until you find a goal that you don't need to write it down constantly or you don't need to constantly be reminded to do it, get rid of that goal. And until you find a goal that just is you're obsessed with it, that you need to do it, that's what you should be doing. Because it's other than that, it is a waste of time, man. It is a you are wasting your time if you don't have a goal that you're constantly thinking about. It's a waste of time because what what you're saying to yourself indirectly is this is not as important as i thought it was and i'm just gonna do it whenever i get to it no no bro that's not how a goal works that is not how things work you don't live a double life you don't you don't you can't live this one and then later on live the other one and be like all right well now i'm gonna get my goal done it doesn't work like that you literally like believe me man this is the way this is by by the way i've lived my life this is how it works you you pick a goal and 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 then you're on that path and then you start straying off and then and then you catch yourself you're like am i still on the right path and you're like yeah because i have to complete this task to get to here and then i i gotta i gotta complete that task to get to here and then from that one then i get this right here you see what i'm saying so it's it's a journey all right so it's not like it's not like a to b right it might people might make it seem like oh one day i was like this the next day i was like this that's not how it, it works bro it works one day i was here then i went here 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 and then when i looked up holy crap i was right here bro and and now i'm like happy but guess what you always look at those guys and they're still going they're still doing the same thing. Maybe they got a little bit more money. Maybe things around them change. Maybe they got a baby now. Maybe they got a, a wife. Maybe they got a house. Maybe a nice car. Maybe this and that, whatever. Maybe the environment's changed, but at the core, the, the person, the man has not changed because why would you give up those habits that got you there? Why would you give them up? Why would you stop doing what got you there in the first place? Why would you stop doing it? So at the core of it, right, at the core, you will always go back to the basics. That's why everybody always says, I got to get back to basics, right? It's, 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 that's why I think the gym is, is the, the clearest distinction of success and failure because you go into the gym and you don't got to make things super, super complicated, keep things basic and you're going to see changes eventually, right? Everything takes its time. So you get to the basics. You don't got to complicate nothing. You stick to maybe a few exercises, a, a nice little handful of exercises. You get in there, you change your body and there you go. And then you look up and you're like, oh, I want to try this and this and that. And then you're like, what the hell? My body's not changing anymore. No you're like, you know what? Let me go back to what I what, what worked for me in the, in the first place. And then guess what? Boom, more, more progress, more success. So what i'm saying right let me bring this full circle and let me end this video on this note don't complicate things pick a goal that you are absolutely obsessed with bro that you don't need whiteboards and nice pretty sticky notes to tell you what to do every day you're you're thinking about it it's on your head it's on your mind you're obsessed with it you're like 
oh, I can do this and it's going to get me closer to my goal if I do this right now. So um, until you get that goal, until you get that type of goal, throw everything else in the trash, right? Because until you get that one goal that you're, you're, you're sickly obsessed with like that, that's when you're going to become what you want to become. Whatever it is, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, bro. All I'm saying is that this right here could be applied to anything that you want in life. If you want to be a NASCAR driver, you got to get obsessed with it. If you want to be an astronaut, you got to get obsessed with it. You got to read everything. You got to learn the ins and outs. You got, dude, you got to get obsessed right now, right now. That's it for this video, man. I know, you know, no, no free sponsorship. So you, this is, uh, this is just an empty can. I appreciate you guys watching, man. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm out.